Cutting around printed images is the main feature of the MH200 and MH300. Today we're going to show you how to create contour cut lines for the MH200 and 300 inside Final Master Cut. There are multiple ways to create contour cut lines around the printed image, so let's start with the most common. Once we're inside the Vinyl Master Cut program, we just need to have our image loaded onto the screen, and then we need to just select the image with our cursor. You will know that you have the image selected when this box appears around the image. With the image selected, move your cursor up to the apple located in the static toolbar and click it. This will show a drop-down menu with two options. Create Cut Contour will be at the top, and at the bottom, Contour Cut Wizard. We will select Create Cut Contour at the top, and this will bring up a new pop-up window. If you happen to be using a .png file, .jpg, or some other type of image file type, you will be met with this pop-up stating that images have been detected and asking us if we wish to include the auto-traced contours. That is exactly why we came here, so we're going to click yes. We wouldn't be met with this pop-up if we happen to have a vectorized image, or something we created inside Vinyl Master, or an SVG file that we're going to do this to. So clicking yes will give us access to the image contour tracing window options. Over on the right side of the preview, you have the adjustment options. The opacity slider will adjust the image opacity in the preview window. Below that, we have the trace settings box with the tolerance slider up at the top. Use that to determine how much of the finer detail you'll want to pick up with your trace. And below that, we have some checkbox options such as use image mask. And then we can also adjust the quality of the trace by selecting low quality or tight trace. Below that is the edit image mask button. And if you want to go in and manually edit the, what parts of the mask are going to appear, uh, this is the place to do so. Below the edit image mask button, we have the contour options. And here we can adjust the smoothing out of the lines and also the minimum size of the items that the mask will automatically pick up. Then we can choose to keep the holes or not by checking this box. And of course, after making all of our adjustments, clicking trace will start the scan and then place the cut lines around the image. We can choose to make a few more adjustments and retrace it if needed. But once we have a trace that we're happy with, we just need to hit apply and that's going to bring us to the final pop-up window allowing us to adjust the contour cut line. Just like in the previous pop-up, we have a live preview of the image over on the left side of it and the adjustments are all on the right side. From the top, we can see that we have a few options we can select. By default, the build contour button is always selected and that's going to show what we've been creating so far. The next option is build boxes and that does exactly what it says and builds a box around it. And then you have cutting grid, which will put a grid of cut lines around the image. We will leave the option on build contour for this demonstration. And now we need to check the output options. And of course the default is cutting contour, but you also have the option to select perf contour and a cut with a bleed, but more on that later. So let's leave it on cutting contour. Below that we have the outline options. Here you can adjust the size of the outline using the percentage option, or you can go by specific units down below. Above that, you can select the corner style to suit your design needs. Then you have boxes below to use dash lines, the add or remove holes box returns again, and then we have some additional options down below. And of course we want to use the image because we are doing this to an image. So we'll leave that checked, but everything else is fine. We'll click accept and that will take you back to the main design screen. And now you can see the contour cut line has been added around the image. The next method to create a contour cut line can actually be done from the main design screen. For this example, I'm just going to create a circle using the design tool and then move my mouse cursor over to the right side of the screen to the blade holder and blade icon. Clicking that will bring up a drop down menu and from there we can select cut contour from the menu and you'll make it a contour cut line just like the one we did above. Once we have this cut line made, I'll just apply it over the print and center it and then we're ready to move on to part two of this video series. If you have any questions about any of the products shown here in this video or any of US Cutter's other products found on their website, 
head on over to uscutter.com or contact us directly using the information shown here on your screen. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and have yourself a wonderful day.